to the 2023 Academy of Music Awards. family and friends. Welcome to the 2023 gala event. Tonight we will be honoring the 2022 Artists of the Year by Genre, as well as those being nominated for induction into the Academia Hall of Fame. Whether or not you take top honors in your genre, or are nominated for induction into the Hall of Fame tonight, you are all winners and valued members of the global creative community. We're in the midst of the most exciting and simultaneously perilous transition in human history. As the old technology paradigm begins its rapid decline, giving way to the new paradigm of the quantum mind. As musicians, you've long understood your power as creative beings, unique in all the universe, but fundamentally connected to each other. You've understood how human creativity operates at the highest ordered state of our reality, transforming all information beneath it. The future belongs to you and it's going to be an amazing one. Today, Academia will unveil two important initiatives. The launch of Academia as a portal for creative individuals like you to develop your physical, intellectual, and creative capabilities in a sustainable environment in order to achieve the life of your dreams. The second initiative we call Primordial, the key to cementing your musical legacy for generations to come. Last year, Academy celebrated our 10-year anniversary of innovation, award recognition, and artist advancement. So we thought it would be fun to kick off tonight's ceremony with a brief trip through time in which we'll... We interrupt this program to bring you the following emergency update. Hi, I'm Brenda Allen, and like you, the KTWN team has been following the unprecedented events of the past few years with increasing concern. I'm here with Dr. Pierre Desjardins. Dr. Desjardins is a professor of twinology and father of the modern field of quantum mind dynamics. Dr. Pierre Desjardins, welcome. Merci, merci beaucoup, c'est mon plaisir. We are also joined by Dr. Rich Moore, Juris Doctorate and Professor of Economics, author of the book Climate Change and Other Wealth Building Opportunities. Welcome, Dr. Richard Moore. Thank you, Brenda. Dr. Desjardins, let's start with you. So there's been increasing recognition of the climate crisis and a lot of talk throughout the past decade, but no real effect. What is going on here? Well, Brenda, it all comes down to one word, twan. And what is a twan? As a professor of twanology, that is like asking a biologist what is a plant. But anyway, as you see here, the problem began with the first twin. Un, twin, a technology without a need. These were terrible ideas, packaged as useful inventions to generate profit. As the people of the world adopted more twins, they themselves became an entirely new phylogenetic species. The twin. Trivial, wasteful, and negligent. The strangest thing I have found about the twine is when it comes to the survival instinct, they have no depolarizing axon potential in the brain. In fact, the right creative side of the brain is just born. He's out of the deal. That's just tough. And now, the sum of the misguided axions of the twines has brought us to the current crisis. Pra, twine. Total world annihilation now. Rising sea levels, superstorms, droughts, floods, fires, extreme heat and cold, and famine are all happening as we speak. I would object to this oversimplification of things. Climate change is perfectly natural, and besides, technology will solve all these problems. Okay, monsieur. How will technology solve these problems, hmm? Well, take these droughts, for instance, supposedly caused by global warming. Seawater desalinization can produce enough potable water for everyone. And how much fossil fuel power is required to desalinize the water? 
Uh, about 4,000 watts per gallon of drinking water. Ah, oui, I see now. So you will solve the drought problem by burning fossil fuels to purify the water. But would that not lead to more global warming and more drought? Yes, but we solve that by desalinization. This reminds me of the Twan Henley lyric you can check out any time, but you can never leave. At first, I made the mistake of thinking the Twan was a produit de evolution. This absence de fonction in the right parietal lobe makes him incapable of, how do you say, seeing the problem with both eyes. I don't even understand what you just said. We'd like to hear what the younger generation has to say about this crisis. We're being joined by a student of Dr. Desjardins, Elise Fontaine. Hello, Dr. Desjardins. Do you remember me? I'm a student in your class. But of course, you are the one. And what is your question, Elise? What should the world do about these swans? Well, and so you see, little one, if these swans prevail, there will be no modern world to speak of. Your English is terrible. Even now, with all that is happening in the world, the twan is unable to produce the neurotransmitters necessary to evoke the survival instinct. Objection, Your Honor. Opinion. The fact is very innovative companies around the globe are working on carbon capture solutions as we speak, such as taking plastic waste, recycling it into nylon, then passing the emissions through the nylon. Hmm. I know of an excellent carbon capture system, monsieur. It is called a plan. But you cannot make money off that, hmm? You can't package it up and sell it like McTwannell's hamburgers, eh, monsieur? You just hate American companies because we came up with french fries and made billions from it. Look, Dr. Def Jam, Déjà it's there. obvious. The solution to global warming is make sure everyone has a new ionocaloric air conditioner. And yet, with more people running these air conditioners, won't more fossil fuels be burned to power them, raising the global temperatures even more? Yes, but we solve that with more ionocaloric air conditioners. Uh, thank you, monsieur, for putting that in toilological order. I think we can now see the arrière-pensé here. What people should be asking Dr. Rich Moore is the sense to get more rich from these solutions. <laughs> that is correct, little one. And my only response is this. <laughs> that is the perfect song for the times. Check yourself before you riggedy wreck yourself. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. And I'm still the Don Juan. What the? Dr. Moore, are you there? Oh my. I've just been informed that the home belonging to Dr. Rich Moore on the California coast has just collapsed into the sea. Mon Dieu, that is very unfortunate because I am certain that Dr. Moore had a brilliant technological solution for rising sea levels. And so the moral of the story is, don't be a twin, be an academia. Dr. Desjardins and Elise, thank you for joining us. Coming up next, taking road trips to beat the summer heat. Only on K-Twan. Hey, looks like we're on again. Crap, I didn't even finish my set. <laughs> hey, next time give me a two-second heads up. Academia began as a think tank in 2008. A cross-disciplinary team brought together to address a growing range of critical social and economic issues, including climate change, pandemics, rising cost of living, homelessness, and declining health in the overall population. Over the years, our organization grew and evolved, but it wasn't until 2020 that a small contingent of our team embarked on a journey to pioneer a new way of life that could not only solve these critical issues, but would lead to something much better. So what is Academia? A method of developing one's physical, intellectual, and creative capabilities in a sustainable environment, freeing up time for the things you love doing most. We show people how to utilize sustainable solar and wind power, agriculture, water, organic and inorganic cycling, we show people how to build an architectural stronghold that reflects their unique artistic vision and doesn't require heating or cooling. In short, we show people how to balance the basic equation of their existence. 
Imagine waking each day in peak physical, intellectual, and creative health, surrounded by your unique artistic vision and a thriving biome. You might say, this sounds like a lot of work. But in fact, putting these systems in place frees you from the work debt cycle, which dominates most people's lives. You'll spend no more than 3 hours per day maintaining these life-giving systems, leaving 12 hours per day to do what you love. Imagine what you could accomplish with that kind of time. Furthermore, through Academia, you can achieve this at one-tenth the cost and enjoy a far richer experience. We are dedicated to identifying and advancing top talent worldwide in all creative fields, including art, film, literature, and music. We even recognize innovators in architecture, humanities, and sciences. Academia provides instructional videos in all areas of physical, intellectual, and creative development, as well as monthly award recognition and our annual Artist of the Year honors. Award winners have the opportunity to embark on a global marketing campaign that spans over 200 radio stations, press, video, licensing, and live channels, enabling you to share your unique artistic vision with the world. So how do these three parts all work together? Well, along our own journey as an organization, as we investigated these critical issues affecting society, we also uncovered a new field of science we call quantum mind dynamics. The seven laws of the quantum mind which govern how our mind constructs our reality help explain why current economic and social systems are unraveling and also point the way to a system that does work. You may think of all these negative events occurring out there as being beyond your control, but they are not. Quantum mind dynamics shows us that if we balance the basic equation of our own existence up here, the aggregate system to which we are connected miraculously changes as a result. We hope you'll read more about the new Academy of Mission after tonight's gala and begin building the life of your dreams. Coming up next, the presentation of the Artists of the Year.